Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Revelation. Since we last left off working on our mob spawner, I've uh, went ahead and just closed off around the dark glass with our laboratory blocks here. And uh, just a little small hole for us to kind of get down in here and do a little bit of work with. But uh, let's jump right in and let's get started. So I'm thinking we've been working with the mob utilities. I like to call it mob utilities, but it's mob grinding utilities. Uh, whatever. Shorter. I like shorter. Shorter's better, right? Um, I want to make this little guy right here, the Mom Masher. This little guy can be enhanced with Mom Masher upgrades. There's also Iron Spikes, um, which will kill the mobs and also drop their XP. But this little guy right here is going to make things a lot better for us. So we're going to go ahead and work on trying to get this made real quick. So we're going to need a block of iron, which I don't believe I have in the system. We need a couple iron swords. Let's toss those in. Block of redstone. We're also going to need two iron spikes. So we're going to need two more blocks of iron. Okay. And we're also going to need another six iron swords. One, two. Oh, Lord. That's not good. All right. So we need some sticks. Come on now. Make me some sticks. Oh. Sometimes it's just a little little bit of a hassle if you don't have like everything in there but it's okay let's just type in mob mesh and I have no idea what do we make two we need four more three four there we go all right let's hope that's everything we need all right so let's go ahead and put that in what are we missing oh the iron spikes that's right we need to make these guys first so two iron spikes Ooh, that looks perfect that that looked perfect. There we go. <laughs> the mob masher. Didn't want to go through the first time. So now we can make some upgrades. The sharpness plus one. We can have up to ten of these upgrades. We can also have the looting upgrades, which is amazing. And it's one of the ones I'm probably going to be going with. Smite, Bane of Arthrods, and Beheading, which is actually pretty cool. But I'm not going to worry about too much at the moment. Maybe in the future we'll uh, poke around with that a little bit more. Let's see what it entails for the mob masher upgrade, which is wonderful because we can actually pull the gold nuggets from our compacting drawers. So as long as we have the uh, right amount of lapis, we can make a good amount of these. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of lapis left. So we're just going to make what we can because we uh, used a lot of our lapis on our sword, our cleaver here, uh, in the previous episode, but that is okay. And as far as this is concerned, these are not too bad. So if we want to make 10 of these, we need four swords each. We're going to need 40 iron swords. Oh my gosh. That might take a while. I mean, even just doing it this way. Like, that that didn't even do it right. Like, come on. <laughs> Darn you. Losing sticks and everything. So that's... Not the greatest way of going about doing this, but thankfully we have a decent amount of iron, so we can just type in uh, sharpness, and let's see how many of those, uh, four, so literally only four at the moment, okay. Oh man, alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and craft up these real quick, and I'll be back in a moment, this might take a minute. Alright guys, I just crafted 36 iron swords, hopefully we can get... Oops, max 10. I made a little too many. I miscalculated. Whoopsie daisy. Put that in there. Okay, good. So, well, uh, let's just put it this way. This is probably not going to be the only mob masher we wind up making, which is okay. That's fine. All right, so we got our mob masher set up. Let's go ahead and, or craft it at least. Let's actually set it up. We put this torch here so we can actually put that there. Now, I actually might want to make two unless I put a fan here that might be the best bet so regardless of wherever they fall yeah even if they fell like we need to get those width upgrades as well so we'll get those made up but uh yeah we'll have that and then if they get pushed here they're gonna get well Demolished by the mob masher, obviously. So let's go ahead and put 10 of those in, six of our um, looting upgrades in, 
That should be ready to go. All we have to do is supply this guy with a lever. As you can see, oh god, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> yes, it does hurt yourself as well, so be very careful in doing so. Alright, so we got that taken care of. We want to go ahead and start working on something else. Now, um, at Mob, there's a lot of awesome items inside of this. Um, we got a, quite a few things to work with, but one of the other ones is the Absorption Hopper. Now, we're going to need an Eye of Ender as well as some Obsidian. Now, we don't have the Eye of Ender, which I don't believe we even have any Ender Pearls at the moment, so maybe we can see about grabbing a little bit of gold and trading with Toxicity over here. See if he'll uh, be happy enough to give us just one tiny little Ender Pearl. And he isn't. Because Tox, you're a butthole, aren't you? You're not you're not being nice to us today. <laughs> He's not really a butthole, but um let's see. Oh man. Is there anything else you're willing to trade, my friend? There's really not. So you're telling me I just need to get some rotten flesh in order to do that. <sighs> Dang. I literally have no emeralds left. Wonder if any of these guys are willing to do any trading for anything good. Um, we got raw beef. Do you want to trade some raw beef? You want to trade pork chops, chicken? That's it. What about you, buddy? Wheat, potatoes, or carrots? Wheat, potatoes, or carrots? All right. We got some wheat. I can do some wheat. There you go, buddy. I need to make one little tiny trade with our buddy Tox outside. Hopefully that'll reset him. Um, sure, let's do the glowstone. Why not? This seems like the probably the best of the best of the best, sir. Alright, that should have reset him so we can use our gold now. And get a few emeralds. I want to get one more. So we can get that ender pearl. Now hopefully once we get this set up, we'll have endermen spawning in there also. And we won't have to worry too much about getting having to worry about getting um, ender pearls from Tox anymore. Unless we absolutely have to. That's the plan. So hopefully everything works out. All right, now we need to convert our blaze rod. We need to make an eye of ender. There we go. And we can go ahead and hit back up the ant mob utilities. And we can work on making our absorption hopper. This guy is pretty great. If we uh, hover over it, it says vacuums up items and XP orbs in a 7x7 seven seven area. Can be configured to push out in. Any side, fluids will insert to tanks and items into inventories. Ranges increased by absorption radius upgrades. So, yeah, we can even upgrade this thing, which is great. Now, we're going to get down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get down right here behind our crusher here. I know we took the lever down, but that's, that's all right. No big deal. It's fine. And uh, we're going to run our absorption hopper. Uh, let's put it right here. Uh, we'll also go ahead and place another brick of cobblestone back there, as well as our lever, which we won't turn on in at the moment, so we run into it. We won't take any extra damage, as you can see. We're, we need some food, so uh, we need to go ahead and start hooking up our ME system, which is what I plan on doing. So we need an import bus. ME import bus. We should be able to make one of those, no problem. And some cable. Um, as far as the fluid is concerned, we could look into making some of the fluid stuff, but I may hold off on that at the moment. Can we make drums? We can make drums. Let's make a drum for the time being. Let's just do that. So two weighted pressure plates. We'll make an iron drum. We also need the cauldron. And we'll just have it suck all of the experience into the cauldron for now. Then we'll uh, work on getting some uh, fluid storage set up in our 
plant energetic system very soon. All right, so we want to be able to run this from here over. So let's do a little work. All right, so from there, this is lined up just about perfectly. Let's just kind of run over maybe until about here. And then if we go upwards, we should run into an ME cable, which will hook us up to our system. Well, close enough. Pretty much dead on almost. That should work just about exactly how I wanted it to. That would be great. All right, let's go ahead and run our ME cable all the way down. Hook up our import bus onto this back side here. We're going to right click on this. Now let's go ahead and take a look. If we face this way, push F3, uh, it shows us facing south. So if you look on the left side under XYZ block and chunk, it says facing, facing south. All right, so we need to set this up on the south to output items. As you can see, we already got a few items inside of there. So once we hook this up, those items should make their way into our ME system. Not super fast, but we'll make some upgrades, as this should be able to take some upgrades and make this work a lot faster. Now, it didn't work out too bad, now, honestly. Uh, we'll go ahead and take our drum, and we'll place that underneath, which should be down. We'll set that to fluid. So any XP we get should make its way into there. You should see the drum and change to the experience color. So that should work out just, just fine. Once we're ready to set up the uh, fluids for our ME system, we'll be able to hook this up right here, and it'll be able to start filling that up for us as well. So that worked out pretty well, I gotta say. All right. All right, last thing we're gonna really need before we start kicking this thing off is let's go ahead and make some more width upgrades we're gonna need two all right perfect i'm glad we had everything we needed for that we're gonna need one inside of this guy as you can see that worked out well <laughs> and we're gonna need one inside of this guy so now no matter where they fall bloop 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 right into the mob masher bloop 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 right into the mob masher Awesome. Good stuff. All right, so the last thing we're going to want to do is pretty much just take out the light uh, inside of here. Also, before we do too much, there's a little bit of light down there. I might have to close that off. Double check our jet pack. Let's go ahead and fill our jet pack up real quick, just so that way we don't get stuck down there. I don't really have an extra way out that I've made at the moment, so we'll just put a little extra power in there just in case. All right, that should be good enough. All right, now to get underneath there, as you can see, there's a little bit of light coming in from there. Uh, let's make our way down. I'm gonna go ahead and have me a nice ham and cheese sandwich first. And this should lead us underneath our mob masher. Now there is, I believe, the source of the light coming in. If we place a block there, that should have taken care of it, I hope. So if we look down into here, eh, it's still got a little bit of light. We don't really have any F7 code to really tell whether or not you know it's working or not, but you know what? Let's take a chance. All right, so we got two of these. Let's place one <coughs> about in the center there and about in the center there. Whoa, nice. Let's close that off. Oh crap, I didn't turn it on. Uh-oh. Oh crap, don't blow up, don't blow up. This might turn out to be a very bad decision. Wait, can't you turn that on with like a... Oh crap, that was a creeper. Stop hitting the creeper, no! Wait, whoa. <gasps> Did it work? All right, let's put a torch down. I think he blew up my mob masher and someone's got some of my upgrades. 
You guys are really not making me happy right now. I think that creeper blew up my mom, Asher. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. All right, guys, I'm going to fix this up a little bit real quick. I totally messed up. I didn't turn that on first. I should have turned that on first. All right, let me fix this up real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. So I went and did, well, tried to stop the cursed earth from spawning anymore from placing down a few torches. Now we need to go ahead and turn everything back on. I got the mob masher remade. Let's go ahead and place in our um, upgrades again. A lot of the upgrades um, from this were actually absorbed into the absorption hopper and actually sent to our system, which was actually kind of great honestly to be fair so a little bit of reinforcement with some cobblestone which isn't a whole bunch a lot of this should start reforming into cursed earth as uh this block oh there you go right there um this block right here was actually just dirt and you just saw that one turn back into some cursed earth so it does spread uh if you guys were a little curious about that so let's go ahead and turn everything back on make sure we get enough jetpack power for this I'm going to have to sit up here for a quick second. We're going to turn on all of our fans. And I'm hoping the creepers don't try to blow up the, uh, the mob crusher again. Which actually really wasn't the creeper's fault. It was the skeleton's fault for me being in here. And then it hitting something else. Alright, let's get out of here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and close this off. Wonderful. And it looks... Well, we got a... Oh, we got an Enderman in there. Sweet. I know it's a little hard to see in there now that we have, like, literally no light. We have a two-lane here, which is perfect for spiders as well. So we make sure we take out everything here. It looks like there's a zombie stuck there, which is kind of weird. It's taking out uh, creepers in one hit, which is great. Oh, this is, like, working out beautifully. Oh, very nice. Very nice, indeed. Another Enderman. All right, let's check our system. Pearls? Any Ender Pearls? No? Okay. All right, let's double check. Let's see. Uh, let's check out Powder. Gun There's no Gunpowder? Oh, Gunpowder. There it is. Uh, so we're sitting at 20 on that. Flesh, rotten flesh. Should be seeing some of that making its way into the system soon. Just double check our pearls. No pearl count. Gunpowder still at 20. All right, so now I'm getting the feeling something isn't hooked up. So we're going to come down here underneath where it's safe. Err. And I do believe it's right around in here. All right. Why is the absorption hopper item? Oh, it's not keeping up at all. But we do have a ton of items making their way in. Holy cow, look at that. Experience for days as well. All right, we need some... Uh, some speed upgrades. We need some acceleration cards on that export bus. All right, so acceleration cards, uh, right there. We should have a few to make. Oops, that's too many. All right, let's go ahead and put those in. That should go ahead and solve that problem. We have a ton of items just sitting down. They're ready to be sucked into the system. So let's jump in here real quick and. Oop. Look at that absorption hopper. Look at that thing go now. Ooh, buddy. Ender pearls coming in. Items coming in like crazy. We need to get some storage now. <laughs> Holy cow. Things working better than I anticipated even. And now we have plenty of stuff. We probably should have made an on and off button to be honest with you. Uh, which we could have done with some lighting effects. We could put some lighting on the walls on the side, which I'm going to probably have to try to do by burrowing down. So we might go ahead and try to do that real quick. Let's take a look at some... Oh my gosh, look at this. Rotten flesh like crazy. A solidified experience. Oh my gosh, can we do anything with this? We can make smiley clouds. We can also go ahead and have this export into a magma crucible. 
cook it down into some essence of knowledge, which we can then make into pretty much essence uh, on the go, which is great. And then Tome of Knowledge, which is wonderful. That, that'll, that would be great as well. Put that in our fluid transport. So we may have to set up a system for this at some point. So that way we have a separate system for our mob farm. This is insane. <laughs> it's insanity even. Alright, how many into pearls? We already got 21. That's that's just great. 252, 254 gunpowder. Holy cow, we got... This thing is going nuts. And we don't even have the max amount of looting upgrades in there yet. Jeez. Not to mention we're going to get redstone and other things from the witches. So that's going to be great. The armor we're going to figure out what we're going to do with. Because that might start clogging the system up. Um, we're not going to want to use all of that. Maybe we'll look at uh, ways to repair it. And possibly make that to just, you know, making a whole bunch of... Um, other resources for us. So let's go ahead and type in, uh, night gear, uh, glowstone, my bad. All right, so let's take some glowstone, a little bit of redstone, and let's make up like six or eight lamps. Let's put a lever. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of redstoning. Let's grab a little bit of this redstone coil as well. That should work out well. And if we jump into our bag here, we should have our engineer's hammer also. All right. So we need to start poking around in here. We need to get an on and off switch in this place bad. All right. So if this is that centerpiece, this is the wall. Let's go ahead and dig out behind this a little bit. And let's say right about in here. Yep, that looks about right. Go ahead and pop one there. Make our way back around real quick. And we want about right in here. It's about the middle there. Alright, so let's go ahead and place down real quick one of these guys. Reset that to output. And we're also going to go ahead and hit up the linking part of that. Now we should be able to switch and still do that. Yep, cool. All right, output set. And now we want to do the pretty much exact same thing on the opposing side. But let's go ahead and put one of these guys here. Link those up together. And I need to get back behind this now. On this side. There's a fan. That should lead there. Perfect. Let's put... Oops. That thought that was a torch. That is not a torch. Now, this might not shut it down completely. Oops. We need to go up a block. Yeah, it might not shut it down completely, but it should shut it off enough... Hopefully, to keep them from spawning so much. So if we start running out of space, we can actually start working on doing something to kind of get things, you know, fixed up or get rid of some, some items until we start getting it more and more automated. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, excessive items. Oh, nice. Upgrade on the pickaxe. Very good. Very good. Perfect. All right. We're going to do that. Set that to output. Link you up, place you down, set you to output, and link that up. Cool. All right, we'll go ahead and set this one here. Link these up. Jeez. So much space I need. All right, let's put that one there. Like that to this, and then from here we can we can go up and just kind of see literally where we're about at. Wow, that's that's wonderful. <laughs> that's that is great. Um, I guess we can put that right back there. 
pop that down there so we can have this kind of hidden. And then from here, we'll just come up here and uh, place you there. So that's going to be input. That should make its way across the line. That is not obstructed. How is that obstructed? It's literally straight down. It's because I'm in the way. Is it because I'm in the way? Wow, that is so strange. You just hear the mobs going crazy. They're going nuts. So that's coming in there, that's coming up. Why are you obstructed? That does not make very much sense, to be honest with you guys. Let's take it up a block and see if that helps any. Really? Let's try this then. What? What is in? What is in between these two blocks that is keeping this from being a thing? I don't know. Maybe there's some weirdness going on between these two blocks. I'm not too sure what that's about. All right, let's see, because. Her jetpack's about to die, which is just in time. Oh, nice, look at that. The lights are on, and everything kind of quit spawning. I thought I might have needed a little, oh, a little spawn spot, probably like right, right in here and right in there, but like I said, it's gonna slow it down. And I think that worked out quite perfectly, honestly. I thought I might have needed a little bit more um, uh, light in there. But I think that'll work out pretty super duper. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is just great. And then we just flip a switch and... Oh, look at that. They're coming back to doing stuff again. It's <laughs> so cool. Oh, man. Well, talk about color me happy and I am proud of myself. Got a couple drives here. It looks like I might have to make up a few more of these drives off camera and see about getting uh, some more storage set up as we have a ton of bones. We have a ton of arrows. We got a lot of string now we don't have to worry about. Cobwebs even. Solidified experience we're going to have to start working with here very soon. Plenty of ender pearls coming in. Lots of rotten flesh for trading, which we don't really need to trade anymore. But hey, you know, we got it. Uh, lots of gunpowder. So, yeah. Happy with that? We got that all set up and ready to go. Look at us doing stuff and things. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I could add in an extra one, maybe. There and there. That might push out to this block right around here, but there might still be a spawn spot in this one little block. You guys can see right in here. That one might still spawn as well on the opposing side if we put one there on that brick there and one on that one. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this is okay because the chances that they're spawning is very low at the moment. But uh, as soon as we turn that off, bam, they're going at it again. Look at that, that is so great. The creepers literally have no time to really explode and, and everything. It's just, that sharpness 10 is great. I need to get some more lapis. I'll see if I can't get that upgraded. And uh, we'll have even more loot. Now, let's go ahead and jump down before we finish off for the day. I want to take a look at our barrel. See how much experience we have actually accumulated just in the barrel itself. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to take a look at it from here. So, 72 buckets of experience. Holy cow, we're going to have to take care of that soon. We're going to have a ton of experience, and I don't even know what I'm going to do with it all just yet. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I'll have to take a look at what we can do with some experience in the near future. So, all right, guys. With that being said, I'm going to go and uh, say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode of FTB Revelation. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Plus, it lets me know that you guys are still enjoying the series. And if you guys really enjoyed it and want to see some more videos from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. A little 
bell notification icon next to it as well to be notified when I do post a new video to my channel. If you guys have any other tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. And until then, goodbye.